of our machine was to throw food to the hungry student. We start by flicking the ball, which turns its potential energy into kinetic energy. This ball, then by the conservation of energy, hits the second ball in the tube and passes its kinetic energy on. This ball then rolls down and, and hits our books, which causes the domino effect. Because of gravity, these have a domino effect, and the last one pulls out this paper, releasing the other balls. Due to gravity, the potential energy from the balls will be transferred to the CDs as they fall down the stairs which then the CDs will follow the law of the conservation of energy and transfer its potential energy to kinetic energy and follow the domino effect until it hits that final one that hits the tennis ball. The last domino in the row pushes the tennis ball, which has potential energy, knocks it off, gives it kinetic energy, which then by the laws of 2D motion gets pushed to hit the next domino because the force from the hairdryer overcomes the force of friction. The last of the dominoes overcomes the static friction of the rubber band, allowing the car to move using spring energy. Our tricycle moves forward with a string attached to it that's threaded through this dumbbell. As it moves forward, it pulls the string along with it, which then redirects the force, triggering this mouse trap and then causing it to launch. <laughs> 